We all signed on the line to protect and serve the United States and the Constitution. And we serve side by side in all capacities with men. And yet this Baltimore woman, who only wants to be known as Ms. Williams, says she was made to feel less than and not worthy of veterans' benefits, even though she served six years in the Coast Guard and was injured on the job. The men feel that they are the, ve the veterans and we're just there, that our service is not equal to the men's service. I never sought benefits because, like I said, as I've been told through my whole career, that I was not a veteran and I was not entitled to any benefits. By the time she realized she did deserve benefits and decided to fight for them, she had been homeless for 10 years. That's when she came across the Homeless Persons Representation Project, Maryland's only legal services and advocacy organization whose sole mission is to eliminate homelessness. For folks who are struggling with homelessness, there are often um, legal barriers to being able to obtain housing. Executive Director Antonia Fasanelli says that's why they provide their legal services for free. Based on the need, in 2008, they started the Veterans Legal Assistance Project. When veterans return from service, uh, transitioning to civilian life is often a struggle. And for many decades in our country's history, it has been very difficult for veterans to get the medical assistance that they need to help them with that transition. The Veterans Legal Assistance Project now has three clinics across the state, one in Cecil County, another in St. Mary's County, and a third at the VA Medical Center in Baltimore. For veterans who are experiencing homelessness, they do not have the resources to pay an attorney to represent them in their claims for VA benefits or in their discharge upgrade. In some cases, it takes hours upon hours of work, lots of digging for sometimes long lost documentation to help prove their case. In the end, Ms. Williams did receive 100% disability compensation, which allowed her to get affordable housing and meet her basic needs. It took a great weight off of my shoulders because now the VA recognized me as a veteran and recognized my service to this country. Most of all, she says she has peace of mind that she'll never sleep another night on the street. If you haven't been homeless, you can't imagine living in your car, living on the street, not being able to eat properly. Uh, it affects your mental health, it affects your physical health. So now I'm able to live the way a human being should live. There's no question that um, every time we see someone move out of homelessness and in, into housing, we have accomplished, we are one step closer to accomplishing our goal. I'm Nancy Yamada for State Circle.